Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial for this look, and this is actually mimicked off of Marc Jacobs' Autumn Winter 2012 um, runway look, and it's kind of cool. I liked it because it had some like just sort of uh, smoky eye, like smokiness going on on the bottom, so I kind of liked it. Um, another thing I will mention is that I am not naked. I am just I just took the sleeves down on my onesie because I didn't want to make it obvious that I was wearing a onesie, but now I'm telling you guys so. You know, you guys are wondering, my nails are gel manicure um, that I did myself, um, just kind of like lilac pink ombre, and yeah, so they're just um, a couple of red carpet manicure gel nail polish colors that I did an ombre effect with. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to know how to do this makeup look, then just stay tuned, and here's the tutorial. Okay, so the first part of this look is the brows. Now, the model that I'm referencing in this picture, the brows are filled in really, really dark, and it's definitely a trend this winter to have, like, very, very dark, dark, filled in brows. I personally don't like that look. Um, if you want to have your brows filled in and dark, then go for it. Um, I'm more of a natural brow person, but that kind of doubles over into this trend because... It's a lot of like bushy, dark, filled in brows. So, anyway, so I'm taking a little bit of um, this is Espresso from MAC. So, I'm using a little bit of that and a little bit of sort of like a gray color because I don't want it to go too reddish toned. Um, I don't like going too reddish toned in eyebrow colors anyway. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mix those on just a this is a Sedona Lace, like you know, one of those eyebrow spoolie brushes. So, I'm just gonna use this end to just kind of brush the shadow through my brows. So just to ensure that they don't look too um, drawn on, I just use the other end and kind of brush my hairs through. And if I find it lightens it up a little bit, then I'll add more and keep kind of doing that. Um, just till I get sort of the desired darkness that I want. Okay, so then once the next, Okay, so then once the brows are done, then the next thing I did was focused on the eyeshadow. Um, there seemed to be a little bit of eyeshadow on just to add some sort of shimmer, although it does look pretty natural. So the color that I'm using is actually this one from MAC. This is Vex, and it looks just like a silver, but it actually comes up with kind of like a greeny pinkish glow. Um, really cool color. Um, definitely like a really interesting one from MAC if you already haven't already seen it. So I'm just going to take a 239 brush, just paddle brush like that, and just apply this all over my lid. And this is mostly just to add a little bit of something. And then once that's on, then I'm going to focus on the bottom, and the bottom is kind of where it's a little cool. So I'm taking a little bit of Espresso, and this is just on a like kind of flat shader brush. And this is going to go just right under my eye, but I'm not going to put anything on um, the waterline at all. The glue is just going to get slowly blended downwards. And you can make it as dramatic as you want or as not dramatic as you want. Um, I kind of did mine sort of medium. The one in the picture that I'm referencing is pretty dark, but or goes down pretty low. And then once you get the eyeshadow to how you desire, then the next thing I did was put on a couple coats of like really thick mascaras. So I did like three, and I wanted it to be very, um, like clumpy. I find if I'm not wearing eyeliner on the top, then I want my eyelashes to look like completely insane. And then I'm also just going to do the same thing to my bottom lashes as well. And then once the eyes are done, that is the finished eye look. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out and show you how to finish up the rest of the face. So then to finish off the rest of the look, the face looked fairly clean um, in the Marc Jacobs um, makeup look. But I kind of wanted to add a little bit of pink so I don't look totally dead. Um, so I'm using this. This is um, Oh So Fair Beauty Powder. Uh, yeah. From MAC. Um, I know this is like a limited edition one. It's from like an old Venomous Villains collection. But um, I did want to use this. Any sort of like really soft peachy bl or like pinky blush like that would work fine. So I'm taking this just on a big um, brush like this. I don't know what they're called. Tulip brushes, I think. And I'm just going to apply this right onto my cheeks. And for lips, I'm just using a little bit of just kind of a shine. This is a Christian Dior lip gloss. I don't know what it is. It's a Rouge Dior Creme de Gloss in 431. I don't know what color it is. 
So it's just kind of a nude. With a little bit of shimmer. So I'm just putting that just on my lips there. And um, yeah, so that kind of wraps up that trend uh, for 2012 winter. But it's 2013. Whatever. The winter. Um, I think this is kind of cool. I'd wear it out. I'd probably put some false eyelashes on over that though. Um, maybe a tiny bit of eyeliner, but then just like crazy false eyelashes. Um, but yeah, so I still kind of wanted to show you guys kind of a fun runway trend. Um, yeah, so if you like it, let me know. And if you try it out, feel free to leave a video response. And until my next video, I'll talk to all of you soon.